All right, take 47. This is Alex Dewberry, and he's going to be changing his oil on an 03 Dodge Ram 1500 4.7 liter. First, what you have to do is pick up your supplies. Right here, we've got about six quarts of mobile oil. What is that? 10W30, which is the weight, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, we should probably figure that out. All right, well, after you spend about half an hour figuring out what type of oil you need, like Alex did over here, you also need to get an oil filter. And that's a wrap for right now. Next step in changing your oil is finding your oil pan bolt right here. Found. It only took us about 20 minutes. All right, and you're going to loosen this. And be careful because the oil is going to drop down into hopefully what you have is an oil pan, but. If you're a redneck like Bud, probably be a bucket. Now we're going to begin to loosen this bolt after you get the correct rent size. <laughs> Since it's the metric system, because his, <laughs> his Dodge is made in Candyland. <laughs> Alright, it ain't going nowhere. I cut the video. <laughs> Most bolts are going to be caked on with, uh, you know, rust and whatnot, depending on how often you change your own oil or change your oil period. Normally, you want to make sure your engine isn't hot. You want to make sure you had, you know, a good us. amount of time for it to cool down. Unlike us. Unlike us. <laughs> but normally, uh, a bit of oil may come out after you loosen this bolt, so you got to be careful. Unless you're Jewel, and we hope she burns her hand entirely. Alright, well it's beginning to come out and that actually went surprisingly well because we were afraid that we were going to have to take Alex to the hospital. This is assumedly what you want to happen. And way too hot. Yeah, we didn't wait very long, but we're slackers and we wait till the last minute to do these types of videos. So, okay. Alright, all the oil has drained, so what's our next step, Alex? We're gonna finish. We're gonna let it finish dripping, and then we'll put the plug back in. And we're gonna come up to the oil filter, which is this way, and take that off. Let it drain a little more, and then we'll put on the new filter and refill the truck with oil. All right. Hopefully, without any hospital videos. All right. Alex is gonna begin loosening the oil filter all by himself. If I get splashed with oil, be pissed. Yeah, here it comes. We're gonna back away. Not, no, you good. Oh, we good? Yeah, it's nice and warm. Mm. That's toasty. Woo wee! Is it hot, bro? Alright, without too much trouble, your oil filter should come off by hand if it was put on by hand. If not, you may need a uh, oil filter clamp. Which actually makes your life a lot easier. Alright. <laughs> Well, this is Alex's previously used oil filter, and as you notice, more oil came out into the dip pan or into the uh, the oil pan. And let's, let's on me a check bit. it out a little bit. Oh, none of the driveway, but we got someone Alex. That's so not important. All right, and Hold that's on. a wrap. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little dab of oil, apply it around the outer edge of your new oil filter. This helps with the application. As you can see, Alex is a professional. Then what we're gonna do is go back up under the car and reinstall or install your new oil filter. It's pretty much you can rewind this video and figure out how to install one. All right. After applying your new oil filter and tightening it. You go up to the hood, obviously you have to pop it. You find where you pour your oil into. It will have a cap, it looks like that. And it may or may not say what type of oil you need. All right, you wanna go ahead and unscrew the cap. So you're gonna wanna use a funnel as kind of a preventative measure because you don't wanna pour oil all over your car. Alex here, I selected a blue funnel, one of our finest. All right, Alex is gonna begin pouring his oil into the funnel um, most cars take four to five quarts Alex's takes five to three hundred 
Here we go. Mm -mm. Mm, that's good. That's good. Mm. All right. Okay. From what it sounds like, I missed. A bunch of oil just poured onto his driveway. <laughs> I missed. That's this, good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's very well, maybe a blooper. All right, Alex is putting in his last quart of oil. It's about a 30 minute break because this thing takes a lot of oil. He even spilled some into the driveway as previously stated. All right. Now you want to reapply your oil cap? This is kind of common sense, unless you're Jewel. There we go. All right, well, we finished changing the oil. Obviously our how-to Video was on how to change your oil and your oil filter. Done by Alex Dewberry. Video taped and edited by Bud Beagle. And narrated by the one and only Dylan Hagwood. All right. This summer, in a movie kept so secret, even his friends didn't know. Alex Dewberry is...